Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Compton. I, I, I mean, Let's Play Silent Hill 2. I tend to mix the two up very frequently. Anyway, today we're picking right up where we left off from last time by, you know, searching for our wife. You know, because we're playing as James Sunderland, and we came to Silent Hill to search for our wife because this was our special place. Am I going the right way? No, I must turn around and go this way. Okay, fair enough. Also, there's going to be less technical difficulties, by which I mean the map showing up at random times, because I'm using a different controller. It's a Mad Cat's controller, though, so I don't know if that's better. I mean, this thing feels like a freaking brick in my hands. Oh my god, it's huge. Because, yeah, my backup PS2 controller, an official one, held together with scotch tape, and uh, the analog stick was constantly moving on its own. So, yeah, I'm just using this Mad Cat's controller. Because, why not? Okay, so, uh, where am I going? Right here. Okay, I just have to examine. Did he just phase through that freaking wood? Oh, we got our radio. And we got something creepy. Oh, looks like we also got our first weapon, too. Uh, crap. Give me a moment. I kind of forgot the controls again. Uh, I'm good at video games. Okay, I'm going to assume I... Hit our... Wait. Nope. What the hell? This thing's just dancing. Okay, I'm tapping action. Nothing is occurring, so... Do I just leave? Can't escape right now. You're also not doing anything, James. What the? Okay, I actually have to aim to attack. Aim by pressing R2, and then swing the stick wildly. I'm sorry, that is stupid. You should not have to aim for a melee weapon. Gun, I can understand, but eh, whatever. Yeah, of, of course that's not human. It's a freaking shimmying monster that was... Doing something, I don't know. Squirting poison gas at me. Whatever, but yep. Now that we have the radio, we will know whenever there's a monster around. Can't exit out this way? Apparently not. No, apparently not. I am so freaking lost, it's ridiculous. All right, well, then let's just go back the way we came. Oh, now we can escape, now that the thing is dead. Oh, yeah. This thing broken? He must have a Metro PCS phone. They get horrible reception. Better take it anyway. I might need it. Okay, or was that still the radio? I don't know, but... Oh, they, we got blood in our footsteps, or is that mud? I don't know, it's one or the other. Okay, so, um... I'm still kind of confused as to where I need to go. Well, I guess now that I have a weapon, I can go down Sanders Street. Was that the street that he was afraid to go down last time? We shall see. We shall see. But yes, we now have a weapon. And the radio will start playing whenever enemies are nearby. So I know to be careful. Ha ha. Dear God, this controller feels horrible in my hands. Alright, well, am I on the verge of death? 
Hmm, my status seems to be fine. I guess. Hmm. Just looking like I'm about to unequip this. No, and I got health drinks. Yeah, I still seem to be doing fine, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna heal up just yet. I am going to save. Save early, save often in a survival horror game. Disclaimer to what I said earlier. I mean, if this is Resident Evil, you don't want to save often because you have limited saves for the most part. So yeah, I'm just going to run away from these things. No need to really engage them. You know, even though I do have a weapon that has infinite ammo, I assume. I mean, you wouldn't really say two by fours have ammo. Whatever. I'm still going to run. I'm still going to run. Is this the street where I may now head down? Okay, yep, yep, he's no longer afraid to go down this street because he has his weapon. There's an enemy nearby. I'm just gonna run past him like I do with all the others. How you doing, guy? Oh, crap. Do I want to go down this alley? This does not seem like a wise decision. I am heading the right way, though, right? Hmm. Okay, maybe I can turn left on cats and then go down, and that might work. That might work. I hope so, anyway. Okay, I was about to say, for an alley, there sure were no monsters down it, but... Eh. Well, there actually weren't. What kind of alley was that? Usually that's where all the bad things hide out at. Okay, so far this seems to be a correct pathway. I'm probably leaving behind some items and things I can pick up, but whatever. I know a dead body that I'm stopping to examine. Okay, memo pad on the ground. I'm going to write everything that I've learned so far. Maybe that'll help you out somehow. If you're reading this, it probably means I'm already dead. Yeah, that looks dead to me. Okay, thanks for the advice. Dead end. Son of a bit. Okay. Okay, well, I saw that thing crawling around. It's obviously seen my 2x4 and is scared of me. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to be getting around through here. Road is blocked. Alright, looks like we got to change up our route again. Fine, we're going back to Cats and then going all the way down to Munson. The things you got to do to get to the park. Okay, we got multiple things running around. And I'm just going to keep running. Never stop running. Apparently, my fears were false. There are no... Ooh, what's in here? But yeah, there is no need to worry about stamina. First aid kit. Very useful. Very useful. Alright, I'm not going to lie. That kind of got me. <laughs> that kind of got me. Only sort of kind of, though. I'm not about to lose my mind like certain people. That is one big ass spider, by the way. Am I in the right for just running past all these things? I mean, that is the. Seriously, the door that weighs and darn is open into nightmare. It's locked. Oh, seriously, spider? Damn it, just step on it, James! You don't want none of this spider. Okay, so, um... I kind of have no clue how the hell I'm getting there. Maybe I did have to keep going down Martin. Uh... 
Hmm. Okay, time for some, uh, time for some random searching. Okay, currently on Martin at the dead end, found nothing useful. I'm effectively lost right- oh, wait, wait, dead body. And a different camera view. I got the apartment gate key. Alright, so it looks like I need to just take a detour through some apartments. Woodside apartment is right there. Okay. Okay. Alright, alright. I got this, I got this. So now, more backtracking. And there's probably gonna be enemies that spawned on this road now. Like that one. I'm just going to run and not worry about it. Also, my status. Um, that looks a little more reddish tinged and it's flashing a little more. Um, but I'm going to assume I can still take a few more hits before I need to resort to using my health items. You want to hold on to all your health items in a survival horror game. But I keep saying this, you all should know how to effectively play a survival horror. You don't need me to tell you that. If anything, y'all need to be telling me that. I haven't played too many of these. Okay, I think I found the right spot. Use the apartment gate key. Okay. Alright, I was wondering if he was going to decide to go through. Alright, and, uh, yeah, just full disclosure, I encountered another one of those enemies, I, well, the little standing kind, I was able to beat it, but I took some damage there, so I used a health drink. Still got one more left and a health kit, so I should be fine for the time being, I might need to find some more healing items. Alright. So, should I just check to see if I can find anything useful out here before I go inside? That'd be a wise decision. But, so far it doesn't look like there's going to be anything out here. Oh my god, my walking. This... Survival horror controls, people, you gotta love them. You gots to love them. Not really. Okay, you know what, I'm, I'm just gonna go in right here. Why not? This seems to be an entrance. Alright, first real area. Let's go. Okay, it's kind of dark. This is a map of the, yep, map of the apartments. Woodside apartment, first floor. Okay. Let me just make sure. What am I making sure for? Of course it's going to show up right there. All right, I am here. Good to know. Should I go up to the second floor or should I just continue searching around on the first floor. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I will gladly take that health drink. I will gladly take a freaking, uh, well, I will take the save point. I'm so glad these save points are just, like, infinite use, unlike Resident Evil. Yeah, if I could get a flashlight, though, that'd be, like, Pretty freaking swell. Okay, well, I guess nowhere to go but upstairs. Why am I not running? Okay, there doesn't really seem to be much up here. Thought I saw something on the floor there. Just graffiti. Can I go? In? Oh, I can go in these doors. Hmm, but is this somewhere where I wanted to go? I'm going to assume not. See, I'm just randomly walking around, not really sure of what my objective is. I'm just going all the way upstairs because why the hell not?
Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna start on the first floor, you know, actually play the game like a normal person and see what I can see doing that. By the way, these are some like really messed up apartments. Oh, it's locked. Okay, well then, I guess I do need to start on the next floor up. Oh, this is going so bad. So very bad. Yeah, I don't have a map of this floor, right? Oh, it's too dark to read the map. Okay, so we're just walking down the hall. First door, and eh, why the hell not? It's locked, okay. Fair enough, still too dark to read a map. There's nothing right there, so it's locked. And this looks like it was sealed up by some with some concrete, so yeah. In the freaking projects, yo. Okay, there's light right here. Oh, it gives me the full complete map. That's really nice and thoughtful. Okay, so I guess I just need to go back down that way. And I hear something. I was prepared. I heard my trusty, uh, radio okay I don't know if that thing can still hurt me while it's on the ground but whatever can I find something useful in here what am I looking at there's a trash chute some kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole Well, uh, get it out, I assume? Hmm. I currently don't have, I, I assume I don't have anything I can use to get it out. Okay, I just need to remember this room. It remembers it for me, right? Yep, yep, it does. Okay. So I'm just thinking like how much this is similar to, I mean, well, I can't really say like how much this is similar to Lone Survivor considering Lone Survivor came out later and it uses uh, Silent Hill as its, uh, um, what's what I'm looking for, inspiration. But yeah, I mean, well, I guess it's kind of interesting to come to this after having played Lone Survivor and used to the map system in there. And granted, I did play Silent Hill 1 as well, but that was a while ago, and I never really used a map like I should have. It was pretty much trial and error, which is why it took me forever to beat the game. All right, so we got a little apartment right here that's not completely run down. Nothing unusual about this television other than it's, looks like it's about 30 years old. What kind of apartment was this? Can I find anything of use in here? Oh, wait, what's this? This is nothing, apparently. The camera changed on me. Oh, okay, so. Large clock's too dark to see it well. Damn it, where's the flashlight at? If I had a flashlight 
everything will just be, you know, smooth sailing. Okay, that's just gonna have to be another room I remember. Yeah, I can't do anything right there, so... Just go ever further down the hallway. Okay. Oh, looks like we actually have some light. So, yeah, I entered room 205. Okay, and, yeah, wow, they took note of the clock that was in that room. Very good, very good, very nice. Still have no clue what the hell I'm trying to accomplish in here, though. But I assume it has something to do with the trash. Oh, yes, here we go, the flashlight. Thank you. I have a feeling the moment I grab this, something bad is going to happen. Oh yeah, yeah, that is very bad. But I have a weapon. Nope. Are, are you fully dead or... No, no, you're not dead yet. Okay. It stopped. Sewing machine, nothing special about it. Does my flashlight run out of power? Arms and legs, luckily they came from a mannequin. I really hope my flashlight doesn't run out of power at an inopportune moment. But yeah, I can always turn it on and off whenever I need to by pressing circle. Okay, is that something useful to grab? Because I'm tapping X, and he's not really doing too much. Okay, I guess not. Well then, I got a flashlight, a weapon, and a radio, so i say that's a, uh, you know, good enough place to end this on right now. What, anything in here? Oh wait, was that where I came from? Um, or is this a closet? It just seems to be an empty closet. But all right, all right. I'd say this is a good enough uh, place to stop. So next time we're going to continue on in uh, the hotel to, you know, figure out what the hell we need to do and uh, hopefully get some things done. So thank you all for watching. Have a great day and see you next time for some more Let's Play Silent Hill 2. Goodbye.